We're going to take this 1998 21 foot deck boat and give it a modern makeover using HydroTurf sheet material. Hey guys, Anthony Jones here. I've ventured down to Florida for warmer weather and I'm actually at my aunt and uncle's house and this is my uncle's boat. In this video, we're gonna take this Key West Oasis, which is a 21 foot deck boat. And I'm gonna show you how I install HydroTurf sheet material step-by-step, step, so stick around. I just got some new baits in from Six Sense Fishing. They're always adding to their lineup, always dropping new products on their site. And these baits are bite-sized baits for finesse fishing. Let's take a look. These are the Shindig 3.2s and these are the Boosted Ned 3.3s. Both baits can be rigged on the Six Sense Divine Ned football jigs. The Shindig with its enticing split tail is awesome on a drop shot, especially for smallies. The Busa has a rib body, which allows a lot of movement as well as channels to hold scent if applied. These baits are perfect to take your finesse game to the next level. And when you're on SixCentsFishing.com, use the code BRIGADE at checkout. That'll save you 10% off your entire order. And it helps show love to the channel, show support, and it just helps the channel grow. It helps me out tremendously. So use the code BRIGADE at checkout, SixCentsFishing.com. And this is the project. This is a 1998 Key West Oasis deck boat. And this is a 21-footer. What we want to do is give this old boat a makeover. My uncle's already done some work to it, done some upholstery, and it's not in bad shape at all. He's done a lot of things to bring this boat back to life. And what we want to do is take the inside of this and give it a nice new makeover, a modern look, but do it balling on a budget. So we're going to be using this HydroTurf sheet material teat cut with wood grain. The first thing we did was remove anything that we could from the deck. This included a couple access hatches and a few seat base mounts. The console seat base hardware gave us some issues, so we decided to leave it be, but I got a trick for that later on. My uncle gave the boat a quick power wash and scrub with a bristle brush with a little bit of Dawn soap. Got everything power washed and scrubbed really good with the bristle brush. And we've got some of the lids and bases removed. We got what we could out of the boat. The only thing we were not able to get out was that base. We're going to work around it though, no problem. Now let's go ahead and talk about the tools and materials that we're going to use to do this job. So this is HydroTurf sheet material. You can see it's got the black base. It's got the teat cuts in it. It's this light tan color. And what HydroTurf recently started doing, and this is very new, is the wood grain etched into the turf. So this gives the appearance of a wood teak deck. And these are fresh off the press, guys. This is a new deal that HydroTurf's doing. So this is available on tinyboatnation.net. You can always use the code BRIGADE at checkout to save 5% off your total order, which on a project like this could be a significant savings. So this HydroTurf has their own backing that's very similar to a 3M backing, super sticky stuff. And guys, this is EVA foam. And if you don't know a lot about EVA foam, I'm not going to cover a ton about this product and manufacturing and how it takes stains and fading and all that, because I actually cover a lot of that in another video and it's quite lengthy. So I would recommend checking that video out. As far as this video, we're actually just going to show you how to install it in this fiberglass boat. But this HydroTurf is an awesome product. So if you have more questions, I highly recommend doing a little bit of research on that and uh, figuring out which way you want to go as far as EVA foam. I like to use HydroTurf or C-Deck in my projects if that's worth anything. Tools needed, really not a lot of stuff, guys. Of course, you're going to need a razor knife, and this is the one I prefer. You're going to need about a million blades. I usually use this for my main straight cuts, and then I've got, I've got to cut around anything or trim. I use this little knife as my finesse knife with the snap blades. Of course, you're going to need a tape measure, and you're going to need, may or may not need, I, I find this as a useful tool to find certain angles if something is off a little bit. And then for prepping, all I like to use is alcohol, 70 or 90% isopropyl alcohol cut with water. 
And then I use a variety of straight edges, whether it be this or this actual extruded angled aluminum or this drywall T-square, something to give myself nice, crisp, straight cuts. I also ran to the local Walmart to buy a bunch of poster board material, which is what I really like to use for making my templates. I needed something to cut the foam on, so I used a scrap piece of plastic countertop that was laying around. Plywood also works great. On this boat, there's going to be a lot of straight cuts, but we're going to need some radius cuts. And for the most part, these radiuses, as long as they're on a 90 degree, they all look like they're going to be about the same. So especially when we get inside of the cockpit. So I actually may figure out some sort of a template that I could trace to do all these rounded corners. So they all look the same. But for materials needed for these particular cuts, we're going to use poster board to template some of this stuff out. Let's talk about the turf layout inside of this boat. So there's a lot of things going on in here, guys. We've got a lot of angles. We've got a lot of radius corners. We've got center of the boat, but what's gonna happen here with our turf is it's actually gonna be off center to the console. We've got this texture and then in between it's smooth. And in this boat, I'm only gonna turf up to the edge of the texture to allow water drainage, just covering that original texture and leaving all the sides with that factory reveal. Of course, I'm going to do the bow, and this is kind of broken up at some odd angles. We'll do this area on the side, then out back, we'll do this step into the deck, and then we'll also do this out here, which again is an interesting shape that I will more than likely just template this whole shape out altogether. I've decided that my starting point is actually going to be this back quadrant right here, and I want to start here because this is the widest area. It's about 36 and a half inches from here to here. And then what I'm going to do is figure out how to have the exact same reveal on both brakes. What I mean is if we have an inch on this side, on this side, I want to have an inch. And uh, so mathematically, I just need to figure out how to kind of make that piece. And then ideally, we'll either end up with a tan line or a black line about center of the boat in line with that LED. That's how I like it. So I'm just going to take some measurements and figure out where to make my cut to keep a center line and hopefully have the same reveal on the tan on both sides. Now with this hydro turf, I do actually run this in the boat directionally. And what I mean by that is if you look at the stack, all of these have this small radius facing this way. Now I flip this piece and this is a different cut. As you can see, the radius is different. And that means it was manufactured the opposite way. If you take this piece and put them side by side in the boat, you very well could get a slightly different shade of this color. So everything in the boat needs to run front to back the same direction it was manufactured when they made this turf. Otherwise you could have color variances, just something to be mindful of. First thing I'm gonna do is cut the length of my first piece, which is gonna be about 57 and a half. Keep in mind on this one to just make note that this curves up. So we got to go to the longest point for the length. Got the first cut out of the way. And on any of the scrap pieces, I'm marking the underside with marker forward, signifying that if this is flipped and installed in the boat, that's going to be towards the bow. Just a little tip so we don't get things flipped and flopped and confused as far as which way the turf direction and grain needs to run front to back. So the main thing I'm trying to figure out is how these teak lines are going to break. And what I mean by that is, is if I take about an inch over here and then put that right on that edge, then I end up with about an inch over here before my cut. So technically we're centered but I also wanna to try to get one of these lines center here. And I don't want any weird black line breaks right along this hatch edge. Obviously you gotta pick the lesser of two evils. We wanna to try to get one of these lines center in the boat, but what we don't want is an odd little scrap break on your edge. And then we also gotta keep in mind how this is gonna transfer over to this next piece. Because if I've got about an inch here, then we need to have something over here with some meat on it. And so we're just, I'm just trying to figure out where my cut's gonna be to give me a good edge here and then have a nice edge here before my next line break and still try to stay center and off the hatches. Again, you just gotta look at it all, pick the lesser of the evils and how you personally want it to run. All right, I got my width measurement and what I like to do is take my tape, 
get my measurement and take this knife and just make a little slit signifying my measurement. Then I could take this straight edge and line it up with both slits. Take this razor knife, apply a lot of pressure and force straight down. Don't turn my blade side to side, straight down, make a straight cut. Boom, shakalaka, there it is. Nice, straight cut, guys. That's what I'm talking about. All right, working on this first piece, we've got front to back and side to side with exact cut. What we don't have exact cut is gonna be this contour shape around that edge and then these radius corners. I'm actually gonna make a template for these radius corners, but for this, I'm gonna have to probably do some sort of a single template just for this one and uh, just slowly take my time and trim that out. Off camera, I actually took a piece of aluminum, scrap aluminum, and cut a corner and just start shaving it down to get that radius. And as you can see, I have basically made myself a corner template that is perfect for this factory rounded corner that's inside of this boat. So that's what I'm gonna use on all these corners. Nice little corner cut cousins. Now we're doing some arts and crafts in here. Got that poster board. I just get those at Walmart. I get 15 or 20 of them. They're 40 cents each. And then we're just able to kind of template this out and make cuts. And now I've got something I could transfer over to my turf and uh, mimic this because you really only have one shot at getting it. But this process is actually fairly easy, especially with this texture part being a little bit raised off this flat section. Let me show you how I do it. So this is actually a factory cut off the poster board, and this is a factory cut off the poster board. So we know this side and this side are square. I'm just going to line them up with this contoured edge here. I'm just going to press down. You take this piece and kind of hold it in the light just right. You can kind of see that shape. Cut around that shape. And that gives me something to work off of. And then from there, I could trim as necessary. There you have it. Not a bad little cut with that template. Comes in pretty handy. I'm gonna use this template back here to get this in the corner. Here it is the first piece all templated out. And you can see how that fits really nicely. Now that I got this cut out, I'm gonna remove it. We're gonna prep the surface and then the fun part peel and stick. So as far as prep, obviously the good old uncle had pressure washed everything and scrubbed it down with a bristle brush, but we're going to go back over and get all the dirt and debris off. I'm going to use alcohol. Now this says 50-50 cut with water, but I'm actually just using straight 70% isopropyl alcohol. Guys, you could use acetone and if it's a brand new boat that's fresh, you know, from the dealer, you probably want to use a rubbing compound or something to scuff that surface good. Um, this is an older boat because that's how my uncle rolls. So we're going to just hit it with the alcohol, shot rags, get everything really clean, get all the dirt and debris off of it before we stick. There she is, guys. First piece is in the boat and stuck. And hopefully from here on out, it's going to be all downhill because we figured out all the math and the layout of how all this is going to fall. All the math is done. So now we just got to replicate what I did here and every other part of the boat. But I'm going to keep it moving, keep rolling. Um, from here on out, it's not going to be super in-depth because I've kind of showed you the process so far. So let's get back to it.
this is where I'm at. And at this point, I'm going to have to make a joint cut. So I wanted to stop and show you guys how I do that. Now, this is going to be the only butt joint uh, cut that I have to make in this entire boat right here to right there uh, width wise was wider than my sheet of hydro turf. So what I like to do is take a straight edge and cut right inside that black joint, as you can see. And then I'm going to measure out the next piece I need. And I'm going to leave the black teak line and get it as tight as I can to this. Let me show you. I'm just keeping pressure on this and freestyling, baby. Just trying to get that black line as straight as I can up to this tan. Now, guys, I've had a lot of practice doing this. A lot of this detailed work. Guys don't like to do, but for me, it's honestly very therapeutic. And I think slowing down and doing this kind of helps me out because my brain is wide open. Something like that. So this is basically how it's going to look. As you can see, I've got the black. And then I templated that. Now, I will admit, guys, this looks off, but this is actually the boat hull. My stuff is 100% straight. I went off this edge. Everything is straight, as you can see. And then everything continues straight, dead in line with this hatch. But over here, it kind of does this funky thing where it goes deeper here, and then it kind of curves up. So I just kind of had to cheat it and go with the flow. I'm not thrilled that we had to do this kind of diagonal, but otherwise the reveal um, would have been really small over here, really fat over here. And I want to leave this channel for water drainage. So... It just is what it is, man. No fiberglass boat is perfect. And I did template this backside here to kind of match that to give me that shape, as you can see. And then up front was just kind of a freestyle rounded corner. Nothing crazy. Matches up with that angle. There it is, guys. The one and only joint that i will have in this turf job inside of this boat obviously the goal is to make it look like it's not there um, because we do have two separate pieces so whenever i cut this piece i did have it labeled as a scrap piece to the front of the boat so we made sure it was oriented properly and then when i installed it i left it hanging up a little bit and so just sliding in and butting it i left it elevated a little bit and i used some sort of a straight edge to kind of finesse it and force it in there to ensure a real tight fit and while I'm not crazy about this kind of angle cut we had to do, as you can see, that is in the boat and you just got to work with what you got sometimes. All my stuff is running super straight front to back. And uh, just over here where this area is, it does this funky little angle turn. It's just off a little bit. So we're just going with what we got, but we're moving forward. I'm going to tackle that spot next. And I mentioned labeling all my scraps. Any piece I get, I just take that marker and write forward. That means to the front of the boat. And that way, if I need to make another little piece somewhere in the boat, I know the orientation to make sure all the grains run the same direction. So the challenge with this piece is going to be this seat mount. We were unable to get it out. And instead of messing with it and trying to get it out, I'm pretty confident that I can make a measurement from here to center and here from center make an intersecting point and then do a radius cut, drop it down over it. It's, I mean, it's not gonna be easy, but I feel like I could do that easier than I could get this thing out and try to get it back in. I'm gonna work around it. We're gonna see what happens. Inside the boat, I measured from this edge to the center of the seat base. And then I also measured from the front edge to the center of the seat base. And then I went inside my aunt's house and I found this bowl, which actually ended up being the exact size that I needed. And I just used this, uh, centered it over this marked center. And then I measured inside the boat from the front of the turf to the front of the seat base. And once I double check that and got it centered kind of over my mark, just trace it out. Hopefully it fits.
inside deck done, we're gonna move on to the bow. My plan of attack is to do this first, the center section. And remember, we got a black line running right down the middle. We can start center and then match our lines for these side pieces. And I believe we're even gonna do this little lid here and kind of match this reveal here across this lid. guys there she is there is the bow all complete and as you saw i templated out this lid went ahead and did that everything was pretty much templated and it really wasn't terrible it took a couple hours uh, probably two and a half hours recessed this access in and then turfed the top sits a little bit higher than the rest but i think it looks better with it than without it with the bow finished up i moved back inside the deck to work on the center storage hatch I was able to cut the turf so that the hatch lid lip inset into the turf. This meant that the hydro turf on the hatch lid top would be flush with the rest of the decking. I used a template here and you'll also notice that I saved the smallest pieces of the boat for last so I could use up scraps from the larger already installed parts. I also turfed another small lid and step into the boat. Even though that bottle says 50-50 on it, for this fiberglass install, I ran straight 70% isopropyl alcohol for prepping and cleaning. The main interior deck is done. I did this lid up front. Of course, I did all the decking. Got this base back in. Got the lid back in. Did the fancy cutout for this. I cut out the foam and recessed the lid track kind of down inside the deck and what worked out perfectly is these screws are below so you won't hit them with your feet, your barefoot. I did go ahead and do this lid over here, cut out around the hinges, did this part here because it did have some texture, got the basin back here and of course we did this section with a cut out around this base that we did not remove and i went ahead and did this under here make this look a little nicer got my lines all lined up so good place for old uncle rob to rest his feet all right with the bow done and the interior of the boat done made it out back a couple parts back here textured area going to cover this is going to require one template at a poster board the lid then over here same deal texture area template that out lid and then this part won't require a template. I'll just measure it and round off the corners, step in. So five more pieces to complete this job. More of the same that I've done throughout the boat with templating. Yeah. 
down to the very last piece. All in all, I'd say this project was a weekend job. I've actually been on it for two and a half days, but the first day I didn't even start until about two o'clock. And right now it is, it's about lunchtime. All right, guys, that is gonna do it on this J-O-B. Hopefully the uncle will be happy. I know he likes everything jam up jelly tight. He's actually the one I got that phrase from. But uh, let me get this thing all cleaned up and we will get some final footage and shots of this. Show you how it turned out.